Hey, hey, look, ain't no used to being nervous now? I know. Ain't no used to being nervous now? I know, I ain't really Y'all see how I got with me? Uh, I, ain't hear, I ain't heard from Holly in a minute. Yep. She disappeared from it off, uh, off the face of the earth. <laughs> when, she, when, she, when she moved out of Hollywood House, uh, I was supposed to go out there and do videos with her and had a new spot, but she said she lost her phone. We're we gonna get an update on Holly. Holly, 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 Holly. Listen, for the people that don't know who you are, tell me your name and your age. I'm Holly and I'm 46 years old. Oh? 46. Oh, okay, 45. Yep. Okay, 46. Yep. So Holly, yep. what's been going on with you? First of all, let me say, it's a nice neighborhood. Yeah, uh, yeah. very lucky, very blessed. Um, I, I stay with my um, my son's girlfriend's mother out uh -huh. here. And uh, she, yeah, she's been out here for some years, but your son, so, so, you, so you, so you, so you with your son's mother-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, so, so this, the mother-in-laws are together. But yeah. just you and her. Yeah. Well, and her stepson. And is it? Yeah, my daughter was here, but some things happen. Some things happen that you know. Um, she went to jail, and we just got her out Tuesday. So. The stepdaughter. No, my real daughter, the one that was at Hollywood with me. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, she had some stuff going on. So she. She wound up, they came out here and picked her up, and she went to jail. So she's back at her brother's house with her brother, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But um, she has some stuff going on, but we, we took care of it and got her out. So she's doing good now. That's good. That's great. Yeah. How, let's turn this way. Let's turn this way. Yeah, let's turn this way. Let me see. Right there. Okay. So, um, last time I seen you, you was going through, uh, Finding somewhere to stay. You got that taken yeah, care of. Got it taken care of. Um, you were with the guy. What's his name? Brian. Brian. Yeah. I ain't seen Brian here from Brian. What's up with Brian? Brian. Uh, talk about it. We, we, he don't want you to talk about Brian. Brian is a self-centered. <laughs> he is so self-centered. He is all about himself. He says, "Don't nobody want to help him. Don't nobody do shit for him." And uh, I know want? two days last week I was stuck with him. You know, and uh, because we was trying to get our daughter out of jail, but he wasn't focused on getting. Our daughter out of jail. That motherfucker, all he want to do, excuse my language, want to go to the fish tables. Any man, a little bit of money he gets, he runs some damn fish tables and just squanders it away. You want to gamble it up? Yeah, gamble it up. And you know, we trade one addiction for another addiction, and then you know, and then come crying me, woe me, this, that, and the third. And I just, I just have to cut Brian off. Yeah, you know? uh, yeah. Brian, a little bit too old to be worried about somebody else helping him. He needs yeah. help himself. No, because, because, because at the end, they, he a man. Yeah, that's right. He's, uh, a woman, I can hear, I can understand a woman. You know, I mean, she's female. No. Some females are tough and yeah. try to be tough, but underneath all that shit, you still a woman. Still woman. But but a man and ain't no excuse. He a man. Right. Uh, you know, so if anything, he need to be helping everybody else. Yeah, he should be helping <laughs> his family. You know? But it's been that way all our life. You know, right. the whole time I've been with Brian, it's always men. You know, even when I was with engaged to another guy, we had to let him come stay at our house and do Christmas and stuff because he couldn't do that with the kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm asking something about that. Yeah. I don't like that kind of stuff, but I still want to talk about it. Uh, what, 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 would, what would make you think it's okay to bring uh, a man that you got four kids with, tw it, uh, 20 years history with since you was a teenager, right. to, and, and, and just because you got a kind man, a new man that's got a kind hearted, you say, hey, can my ex-husband... Uh, I didn't uh, say hey. Well, he, whatever you he, said, he why, why would you bring him over there? He brought it up. He said, Who? My, my ex. He yeah, because up. he probably thinks it's going to make you happy. No, he brought it up because he didn't want the kids to be let down. Damn, that was a good man. Mm -hmm. What happened yeah. to him? I left. My, <laughs> it, I left because my mom, it was a whole bunch of shit, a whole big you wanna, you, mess. You know, my mom was alcoholic. She was living with us, tearing the house up. And just, so, so, so the man, so that, the man that Brian. Your mama, my, everybody my, else come over there and just, just destroy his shit. Um, no, it was our house. We bought it together mutually, but it, you know, it, they started to destroy the shit, so I left. You know, it just, it was just. He still got the house? He still got it. He's still there. He, probably, he got a new girlfriend? He's married now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, know, I'm, he, I'm, I'm happy for him. Yeah, I am too. He, you know, it was, he begged me to come back. I just couldn't come back and bring all that turmoil back into his life. Yeah, right. You know good. Saying? Good so, for you. Good um, for you. He, don't deserve, he deserved better. Man, you know, I do. I, 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 yeah, he he kind of slow because I damn sure wouldn't let Brian come over. I don't give a fuck <laughs> where he sleep at. Yeah. So um, what's up with this addiction? Addiction. Um. I, I, want, I want honesty. I want I want no lie for the camera. It's good. It's good. I mean, I'm oh, so good. you're not getting high then? No. Okay, good. Well, I okay. mean, I I dabble. I dabble. We'll say it that. I don't. I'm not. I don't go out and look for it. I don't hunt for it. I don't jump in a car and go run up the road to find it. You know. I, you still smoke? Hard. Yeah. 
Do you smoke when you dabble? Yeah, then you smoke then. Yeah. That's it. I mean, that's my that's modification. Yeah, I know. That's modification. Uh, it's a yes or no question. Yeah. I still, <laughs> yes I still or no. Got high, yeah. Uh, but but but, on but one thing about it, though, you ain't relax on that on, on that on that big bad wolf. No. On that dog food. No. That's good. No. Um. Doing good on that. Um. Let me ask you something. Uh -huh. That um. That woman you stay with, she got. No. D don't bring. Are you gonna bring it out here? You got high in that woman's house yet? No. I'm asking. Because oh, uh -uh. it's a nice neighborhood. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I ask you that because, you know, you got, I got the people I met you through, KD and all them people. Yeah. They go back to their mama house and these good ass neighborhoods right. and they bring that addiction with them. And I, and I be like, man, you know what? I ain't even going back, going back out there doing injury her right. mama house no more. Because right. I feel like I'm disrespecting her. It, I, it, I, 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 I hate it. Right. Uh, I'm the type of dude who stand on principles, man. I like, oh, what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. Nice. Yeah, 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 man, you got you got to have some. Cause you know, um, God look out for you, man, and, and, and you come from a Hollywood house to go yeah, to my else. Then, then you land a better spot than all of them combined. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is better than all of them combined. Absolutely. And you got to respect them. Absolutely, I, I you gotta totally agree them. with that. You know, I respect. You know, I, I believe you give respect. You, you know, you get respect when you give respect. That's right. It's too much. That's right. That's how it works. Yeah. You, you receive what you give out. Absolutely. The same energy you push out, the same energy you get back in Absolutely. return. Absolutely. And you know, like man, I think God, God got, God, God got a purpose for you. You are gonna be all right, Holly. I believe you. You just gotta take advantage. Of, see, in life, you gotta take advantage of opportunities. Mm -hmm. when, when they come, you gotta seize them and respect the opportunity right. because they threw. The few far between. And far between, it's hard to Absolutely. find a good ass opportunity out here. That's what I told my. I mother. swear, I swear, it's so hard, man. Yeah, and then you know, I look, I say, damn, these people got. Good ass opportunities, yeah. and they just like throw them away. Throw them away. Yeah, and, I've had and then they cry like years. then they start crying like Brian. Yeah, yeah. And I've had some good <laughs> opportunities that I've let go. Just, Me too. Just because my addiction and stuff like that, but like now where I've grown, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm able to see when it's an opportunity and the good things are going to happen, and you know doors are going to open instead of close. That's right, and, 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 you, and you ain't you're not alone because uh, me myself personally. I done blew so many golden opportunities mm -hmm. and keep on hitting rock bottom. And that's how I learned my lesson. I said to myself, myself, man, I see what's going on now. Right. The opportunities, they come every now and then and you take the advantage of them as, as if they every day. Right. And and you fucked up out here. Yeah. So so since then, since I learned that, and I, a lot of people know stuff, but then I mean they, they learned it. Right. Well, you you know, know what I mean? So, so once I learned that, I say, man, you know what? Let me take advantage of every little small opportunity, and now I'm okay. Right. I, you know, I'm grateful for this because you know I know what it's like to sleep outside. I know what it's like to be cold. I know what right. it's like to be hungry. So to not be and to have this opportunity, you know, I'm I'm blessed. I'm right. Blessed. So what, what are we gonna do to get on your feet so you can get your own spot? Well, I'm looking for work right now. You've been saying that shit since no, last time. No. No. Um. Well, I was dealing with that stuff with my daughter. Like. I, we knew that she was wanted, so it, you know, I know, I know. So it was a whole big thing. See, God, that's why you want her to do another video. Right. Yeah, she can do a video now. Yeah, she can do one now. And she's doing good, and she's, you know, so now I can focus on me and what I need to do. So that's what I'm going to do now. Right. I've been putting in applications all week online. Oh, indeed. Yeah, on oh, Indeed. Right. That's, that's, a good, that's a start. Um, and I'm thinking about going back to school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, yeah. That, that school is a win win situation because. Not only are you getting the education, a degree that you can use in something positive, right. they also gonna give you thirty five hundred dollar refund check. Right. And you can live off that. Yeah. I wanna do hair and nails, so Oh, we're um, gonna go what's it called? Cosmetology school? Cosmetology, yeah. So, um, looking into that and I told my daughter, you know, she don't have her GD G D and I told her, you know, right now why uh, all these good things are happening, it's time to, you know, look into doing doing that. Yeah, because she's smart, she can go down and get a GD yeah, in thirty days. She's still a baby. She ain't twenty four years old. That so. means she ain't forgot a lot of the information. Right. So, so like, if I go back to school right now, shit, <laughs> I done forgot everything. Yeah. But she just fresh out of school, so absolutely. She still got it on her brain. And, and I'm gonna tell you something. If you sm if you smart, I'm, I'm gonna share something with you. Uh -huh. I didn't finish high school at first. Right. I, I I dropped out of eleventh grade. I did too. Then I went to go get my GED, uh -huh. and they they, get, they had a placement test. Right. For you to um uh, to see where they're gonna pitch you at. You know, mm -hmm. and I scored so high on it. I ain't had to go to school. I scored so high. They put me straight in for the GED. Right. And I passed it out the gate. So I, I went, I, it didn't even take me 30 days. Right. Once I got in my mind, I wanted to go back to school. That was in, but I was in my 20s too. Yeah. But, but yeah, so like if she's smart, 
she won't even have to go to a class. All she got to do is go down there, sign up for GED classes. Right. They don't give her a placement test. She gonna score so high on the motherfucker. They are gonna say, man, listen, you can put you right in for the GED yeah. test, and That's she gonna pass. Smart. That's how I did. Yeah. Yep. And, and then she can get back and then she can take that GED and get enrolled to some community college. Right. I just don't want them to see, see them keep on making the same mistakes I made. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Staying stuck in, in an addiction and being drugged down and eventually have to hit rock bottom because sometimes you don't have to hit rock bottom. You just, you know, you just. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> but I absolutely, I had to hit rock bottom. So I know what it's like yeah. to hit rock bottom. So, I mean, it's a learning experience if you take, I mean, if you want to learn something. Right. A lot of people, the rock bottom, what, what we think is rock bottom ain't rock bottom. Right. Rock bottom is a motherfucking six feet under the grave. Right, absolutely. That's their rock bottom. Yeah. They could be out here homeless on the street for 15 years and still, and they, <laughs> still, that, it, it ain't their rock, rock bottom. bottom their rock bottom is a graveyard. Yeah. Uh, life sentence in the penitentiary. Yeah. Yeah, that's I how it works. Well, so, other than that, what's going on? You, you talk to your family, any other family members? Yeah, mom. Well, I talked to my mom. She's in the hospital with her. She got AFib, so her heart. But, you know, that's years of her, her addiction. Mm -hmm. you know? So that's just another. But I talked to my mom and my other brother. He's, um, my brother just got out of the, out of prison. He's back in prison. He had to go back and do his post-release. So you, you, you come from a family of gangsters, huh? <laughs> Y'all gangsters, huh? My, um, my other brother, he's in, he lives in Durham. So um, we talk, but we don't, you know, he, he got, he, he has his own business and stuff, and he kind of, you know, he went there to better himself. Because, yeah, he don't want to look back. Because he was, he was dabbling in drugs too, and you know. So, so are you good now? Yeah, he's clean. That's what you need to surround yourself with people like him. Mm -hmm. Somebody that, that, that can help you get off of it. But he's getting ready to come back to Greensboro and buy him a piece of land and put a house on it. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, so he can be close. He's doing real good though. Yeah, because mom's, um, you know, she's getting old. She's almost seventy now. So. Oh yeah. That's what's going on. Hey man, it's good talking to you, Holly. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna hold you I'm high. Glad you came out here. Yeah, uh, we're gonna see what kind of what kind of what kind of views and comments you get. Mm -hmm. you, you got access to my page. You can look up there and comment and respond to those comments if you want I'll to. I'll watch them. Do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Katie been calling me all day. I ain't. I don't feel like dealing with her today. Oh lord. Nah. Is she out there, Hollywood? Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. doing good. Yeah. That's she good. doing. I mean, she, she she doing the same old shit. But I, I say she doing good because she at home. This, this is the first month she got a check and she ain't leave Hollywood house and go chase right. Mike. So to me that's good. Yeah. Uh but yeah, other than absolutely. that. Baby steps. Yep, but every, other than that, man, everything is all right, man. Yeah. God bless you. We're gonna see what's going. Okay. All right. Thank all right. you.